I'm blessed to have grown up in the same church in which I'm a part today, Concord Baptist Church. I'm thankful for, for my parents who took me to church and I'm so thankful for those uh, Sunday school teachers and uh, uh, the, the preacher and uh, Bible school uh, teachers and just members of the church as a whole that invested in me and, and taught me about God and about Jesus and, and his Holy Spirit and who taught me the events of the Bible. And so because I was in church at an early age, I, uh, I knew many things about God and, and the Bible, but yet I, I, did, I was yet, I yet to have a relationship uh, with my Creator. God himself and his son, Jesus Christ. But, but I remember, I believe I was around the age of, of 12 or, or 13. I asked my father to purchase a certain Bible for me. I'd seen my pastor use a, a discipleship Bible, had a green cover. And, and I asked that, uh, I told my father, I, I would like one of those Bibles. And so he purchased one. Um, the pastor uh, helped him to do so. And I still remember when the pastor came and delivered that Bible to our house. And, and I put that Bible on a desk in, in the family room at my house. And then uh, there was one evening, I remember well, when I was in the family room um, watching TV. And, and the Bible was there on the desk not too far away. And, and I'd always heard teachers, Sunday school teachers, and the preachers say that you need to read the Bible on your own. You need to personally read scripture. But I always felt like that was something for, for teachers and preachers, not, not for me. But, but God stirred in me uh, that afternoon or evening uh, to cut off the TV, in which I did, and sit down at that desk and to, to start reading the Bible on my own. I remember opening it up. I don't remember if it was a particular scripture I first looked up, or if I just randomly opened up the Bible, but I opened up the Bible and started to read it myself. And I started doing this regularly. And in fact, I had a spiral notebook that I would take notes regarding what I learned from the Bible. And it was through reading God's Word um, that the Holy Spirit worked in me to understand that I mess up, that I'm a sinner, and there's nothing I can do to gain God's favor. Uh, because of my sin, and that I needed Jesus Christ in my life because Jesus uh, came to this earth and, and lived his life on this earth perfectly, and then he willingly went to the cross as a sacrifice um, for my sins. Those who believe in him, and, and, and whoever believed in him, those sins, his or her sins will be forgiven. And then three days later, he rose again, uh, resurrected from the dead. And that it was through reading God's word that I realized the good news and I accepted Christ as my Savior. And soon after, I told the pastor and I made a public recognition of the fact by being baptized um, at the local, my church. I believe God's word is so important. It, it has changed my life and I believe it can change your life also.